Hey guys, Zach Miller here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are talking about what is war metal. Now, before we get into this, what is war metal? First off, what is the fashion sense? Bullet belts, chains, spiked gauntlets, and patches that look like this. Outmarked, it's all black, white, and red. Very neat. Um, so, let's get started after I put these all down on the floor. So let's unravel our paper because I need my notes. Um, okay, what is war metal? War metal is a metal subgenre that blends black metal and death metal with slight elements of grindcore. So of course, um, very notable, I'm gonna list some notable acts at the end, but yeah, they list grindcore and stuff, and I'll include influences. Described as aggressive and chaotic, and also as rabid and hammering. So very bludgeoning, loud, and powerful is what this music is all about. Early influences include Sodom, uh, early Sodom, back when Sodom was a uh, black and thrash band, so kind of like Sodom, yeah. <laughs> um, possessed, so death metal pioneers, awesome stuff. They're really good too. Uh, possessed is an amazing man. Repulsion, I don't know much about Repulsion, but I do know that a lot of people like them. I'm going to look into them after the video. Autopsy, I love Autopsy, great, great music. Sarcophago, which a lot of people are like, this is the birthplace of war metal. Sarcophago is one of the first, like, proto-war metal bands, I guess you could say. But the first war metal band that's truly recognized is Blasphemy from Canada. And as well as the first two Sepultura releases. Now, I love me some Sepultura. Um, <clears throat> okay. There was not a lot about this genre, actually. It's not new. It's older, but it's just unknown. Sometimes war metal is just lumped in with traditional black and death metal. But a differentiating, differentiating factor is the grindcore elements and the extremely lo-fi production. So low-quality production that you can hear in early black metal bands, such as Mayhem, Burzum and Dark Throne. They include that type of stuff. Some war metal bands include Blasphemy. Very good war metal, honestly. Um, check out Blood on the Altar by them. Very, very nice album. Archgoat, I haven't listened to a lot of them, so I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, be able to tell you much about them. In Petite in Battle, I've never listened to them. I hope they're good. Uh, check them out, I guess, if you're really wanting to get into like war metal. <clears throat> Beherit. I love Beherit. They're they're actually a different thing in the war metal genre, just like um, B. Grime Maximus. So yeah, Bestial Warlust. Mm. Yes, Bestial Warlust is uh, pretty good too. I believe I've heard their. I believe I've heard one of their albums. I might be wrong though. If I have, I'll put it up in, of course, on the screen like I have been with the other bands I've been mentioning. And Zyklon D. Another thing about war metal is that it's occasionally shunned by metalheads for being uh, somewhat fascist at times, but a lot of war metal bands will decline any connection to NSBM. We might cover that in a future video, but that's going to be a touchy subject, as um, if anybody listens to NSBM, people instantly look at them as a Nazi, so it's going to be something I might cover eventually, but I'm going to have to actually sit there and listen to the music. And of course, lyrical themes aside, some bands that could fall under NSBM could actually have a very good sound. It's just you have to get past the lyrical things. Now I understand if it's offensive to you and you don't listen to it, totally understandable. Uh, we do not look down upon that here and I believe that everybody has a right to their opinion. Now yes, some um, war metal bands could fall under NSBM because their lyrical themes do revolve around subjects such as that. But do all of them? No way in hell! Um, 
Another term used commonly is bestial black metal, but bestial black metal is sometimes made the distinguishing of being an extremely primitive form of black metal, which I usually would just call raw black metal. So, you know what? Whatever floats your boat, call it whatever, call it war metal, call it bestial war black metal, call it bestial metal, uh, bestial black metal, you know? It's all you. Uh, and our recommendation will be Zyk- oh no, not Zyklumpy. Let's recommend Conqueror's album. I forgot the name, even though it's three words. So, yeah, go check out that album. Conqueror's an amazing band, and I have a patch of them. So anyways, turn the gray thumb blue with hypothermia, drain the red subscribe button of its life, turning it gray, and ring the death bell. Leave your input in the comments. And, of course, check out the music used in the description below by Black Metal Band Logos. They're from, I believe, Russia, if I'm not wrong. Uh, you'd have to check them out. And, of course, links to the social medias in the description below where I'm holding an art contest and a battle jacket contest. You can submit on Instagram, uh, you can submit on Facebook by the page or Messenger, or you can submit on YouTube. But that is the less preferred method due to me having to take screenshots and then edit it. I would prefer to make it as easy and clean as possible, clean cut. So yeah, and of course, remember, uh, just check in the description for the link to Conqueror's album, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.